The Paris Olympics may be on right now, but you're watching the real athlete right here. And today, I'm in the GR Butt Kicker Cup at the Okayama International Circuit, trying to repair my safety rating from its downturn. So join me and let's head into qualifying. And rounding the final corner, starting my first timed lap of this session at the Okayama International Raceway. And coming up to the first corner, braking hard and putting it through right out to the outside edge and then back in again lifting off for the left hander all the way around really nicely taken actually and then through a slight S here coming up to a right hander braking at the 50 marker a bit slow perhaps but we entered in really smoothly this car is nice to control. It's good for relearning my load cell braking. Long back straight now. And then there's a little prison watchtower looking thing. That's where we're going to hit the brakes. And in, dropping down the gears. Really nice. Out wide again. Had to hit the little bit of brakes to not go off. slightly slow through here but I think we're doing okay coming up past the 50 and not all the way out because we have to go back in again it's slow but it's working nice and then a fast right hander coming up to the final corner again and accelerating through beautiful first lap and let's see where that's going to put us for our time p5 not bad not a great first corner here on the second attempt but we had a 148.3 see if we can improve on that on this second attempt we've been hit down to p6 possibly done that corner better lifting off and I think we've taken that corner much faster that's much better this time oh no but we've gone wide oh bollocks currently down in p10 exactly halfway down the grid of 20 so we're gonna see if we can keep that position and let's head to the grid setting off on the final part of a formation lap to start the race, I'm in P10, backing up the pack, up. and round the final corner. And we are racing, ladies and gentlemen. It's the first lap of the Butt Kicker Cup at Okiyama. Slipstreaming this car down into turn one. Left. That's 15 minutes. Pulling out just to avoid being hit or anything like that, or hitting him. We have made the overtake, he's made a mistake. So up into ninth. But there was no no sending it. No silly mistakes needed here. 15 minute race. So plenty of time for this. Good work on the start, mate. This is great. Okay, this is good. Someone else has made a mistake here. I think it's that turquoise blue car. And now we have a slipstream on Jared in front of us. Says I'm in P7. I don't know how I made up all that mistakes, but uh, all that positions, I mean. But there you go, I have. Oh my days. Holy. Oh my god, he's taken everyone out. Lucky I avoided that. Insane. Oh, bit unstable there under, under the braking for the corner. But we've managed to avoid it. Oh my days. That was insane. And here we are, we're still with the leading pack. And now we just have these final two corners of the first lap to go.
bit squirrely. And there we go, round the final corner. Behind Takahiro and Daniel in front of us. They're fighting it out. Oh, we've got a good run on them. Oh, it's dangerous. It's going to be a little bit of contact. It's light contact. Oh, how have I got incident points? Incident Come on. Williams. Looks like it's Columbia. Racing, racing incident. Come on, and then we're now in fifth position. Four incident points, which is not what I want, but we can keep it. We can keep it low. Massive piece of rear wing went off there. Oh, rear bumper, sorry, from Cavi, I think it is. We're still following everyone nicely. This is good. Oh, and he's made a mistake. He's off. We've made up another position. Well done, Nick. Fantastic. Nice front. Oh, that was a terrible couple of corners, and he's made up ground on us again. Not good coming into the last corners. Oof. Bit of a slide, but we've actually pulled away a little bit. In fact, he won't be able to get a decent slipstream here. Again, a terrible couple okay, of corners. Ten to go. Really ten my weakest point. We need to work on that smooth. throughout this race. Otherwise, Daniel Wong is going to overtake us pretty easily. Good final corner, though. And again, we've built up enough of a gap there that he's not going to be able to get a slipstream on us. The leader's just done a 146.8. We're still keeping up with the guys in front. If not gaining on them, but... Oh, that was nice. We're definitely gaining on him. It's only 1.1 now in front. In fact, Aditya in uh, second. We lapped quicker than him last time also. But only by three tenths. That's much better. Now I need to break earlier here. Oh, oh, and he's gone wide. Oh, watch it, buddy. We're fighting for this position. The next car is Daniel's tower. trying to go up on the inside as well. And he has. But that means I'm going to get a better run on him on the exit here. And I did, and I've retaken the position. Good. Got a slipstream on us Leader behind us. It's a back marker. And he's going for the overtake. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. There he is. It's clean racing, though. Daniel trying to make a lunge down. I'm gonna block off the inside, and I have. And now I'm gonna get a slipstream really nicely, actually. Up on our back marker. Cavi is back 1.1 ahead. I made the overtake okay, on him, but Nick, couldn't make it stick. Shit. Make him work for it. He's faster than you, entering Redman Corner. Daniel's hit me. And he's crashed himself. Good news. An incident in the hairpin. We think it might be Wong. That was his own fault. He rear-ended me. Oh, that was poor though. To Patel. Oh, they've had a spin. Yes, they've hit each other. Mike Knight corner. Good Looks news. Like Patel. The back marker hit Cavi. It's oh, amazing. And we've made up a position. It's Patel. podium. Come on. This is fantastic, and we've done 10 minutes of this 15-minute race. Just about. Nice. We look like we are going to get overtaken by Tyson here. He's tried to make a lunge up the inside. I didn't let it happen. Stuck to my line. 
he's, I'm sure he's going to make a lunge here. I'm going to stick to the line. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, smart. Leave it for the back straight. Although he's made a little mistake. He's a bit further back than I think he'd like to be. There's a back marker in front of both of us. Oh, good braking there on that corner. Yeah, really nice rotation too. Not so good there. And Tyson behind us is really closing in. Nice. Actually, that was really nicely done. We've still got Tyson behind us. Back marker in front. Cutting the corner. Oh, shifted up too early. My, my finger just had a mind of its own. What's he going to do into the first corner? He's only 0.3 behind. There we go. He's not close enough to try and make the same move he tried last time. Catching the back marker. Please give me a slipstream down this back straight. I would really appreciate that. Oh, I might even be too close for that. That is annoying. I'm going to have to make the move on him though, because otherwise it's going to get compromise my race. Yeah, and now if he could do some work holding up Tyson, that would be awesome. He's getting really close behind, I don't like it. Yeah, really good stuff here so far. It's been a really smooth race, we just want to keep it like that. And he is doing me a favor here, holding up Tyson. He is actually really doing that good for me. Thank you, Harry. And back onto the pit straight. Oh, he's trying to block him off as well. I don't know if you saw that move. That was a bit crazy. That means Tyson's fallen Captain back to over a second behind. Just two minutes to go. Oh, he's still holding him up. Tyson's 1.3 behind now. That's perfect. Come on, Harry. Legend. Adit here is now 3.8 seconds in front, but I'm lapping 0.4 quicker. Well, I did on the last lap anyway. Rounding the final corner again. Now this is the white flag lap. Tyson is 1.3 behind. Adit here is 5 seconds in front. Probably won't catch him, but I am on the podium currently. We have to keep it like this, keep it smooth. Not like that. All right, Nick. Oh my days, no. Keep what a mistake. We'll what a time to make track a mistake. Watch those lines. The track temperature is falling. It's now 38. Oh, Tyson's Celsius. made it on Harry and oh no. What a stupid time to make a mistake. Okay, let's get the slipstream here. Yeah, let's go. All right. We might get him back. Come on. That's half fuel. I didn't get a good exit, fuel. though. Oh, no. My plan is not working. My exit wasn't good enough, and I'm not going to catch him. I thought I could get the slipstream. Nothing stupid, though. We'd take a fourth place. There won't be any silly last corner lunges. Coming around the final corner. My first corner mistake last lap really messed that up for us. And there we are. P4, though. That is still a fantastic race. What a race. 10th to 4th. And only a few incident points. Um, four of which were not our fault. Perfect. But before I check the results, don't go anywhere because I have a second race coming. And the results are in. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, I really hoped for a more 
increase to our safety rating, but we'll take a plus anyway. It's 0.02. And then our I rating is plus 68, so we finished in fourth. Not bad. Back above 1,000, which is great. And now I think it's time to head back to one of the most popular classes. The MX-5 Fanatec Cup at the Motorsport Arena, Osterslieben. Or if you remember, we won this race last time out, so... We're aiming for that again. But join me and let's head into qualifying. And we're starting our first qualifying lap. So as I said, I won this race last time out, so I'm expecting good things. Had a lot of good time to practice today as well. Bollocks. All right, let's try that again. I had a really good practice session, so I don't know what went wrong there, but we can redeem this. First corner can be a tricky one, but it's all right. We've made it round nicely, coming up to a left-hander hairpin. Slow and on the power, using all the runoff. Very good. And now a fast section of left-handers being careful not to hit those cones because they'll give you a cut the track penalty for some reason. Just about half throttle. Not good breaking into that one. This is a poor lap. Even by the, the standards of my practice sessions, this is poor. And then lifting off. So we don't want to run wide here, accelerating all the way down the back straight. Braking just before this big bridge. Turning the car in. Slight lift off, not to run wide, and very good. That's better. Lifting off through here, turning the car in. We just about kept it on. And quite nicely done into the last corner. Not perfect, but it's okay. I still think it'll be an okay lap, but definitely not the best we could have done. Where has that put us? P3. P3. I felt a lot of mistakes in that lap, and yet we still ended up P3. So things are looking good, but let's see where we end up when we actually head to the grid. And the lights are on. Green, green, green. It's not a great start. We did stay in P3. So, it's not too bad. We can make up time here. We've lost a place already from a poor start. Maybe even more than that. Fighting hard on the first corner. Shifted down when I probably shouldn't have. Is Nearly it lost it. In? Turn one. It looks like it's Gherkin and Here we go. That's all right. We, uh, we've lost a place to Jose. But we can gain it back. Oh, I've run a bit wide. Oh, that is unfortunate. That was totally accidental. Okay, Nick. He Decent cut across start. me and I was just understeering wide. Asaroda. That Looks is like totally Baron. accidental. And I do feel bad for that. But we have made it up into second. And it's Nick Mourinho in front of us. Oh, spin out behind us. In fact, we, we didn't even really get incident points for that either. We only got um, two. Not sure why we get two for that. I thought it was zero or four, but there we go. So running up Nick Mourinho in the lead and Nick Green in second. Second is okay. We can build on this. Especially with all the mistakes that happened around us. Um... Although Nick Mourinho does look like he's a better driver than, than the others. He's D-Class, 3.1 safety rating as well. And nice final corner to start uh, our second lap. First lap, chaos was mostly avoided. Made up uh, a place overall, net, net gain of one place. We're 1.9 seconds off the back of uh, Mourinho. This is good. He's made a bit of a mistake in front. Went off track a little bit. Lifting off for this uh, chicane. It's a difficult one. 
lifting off all the way here and then accelerating so we get a good run down the straight. He is still 2.1 seconds in front though despite the mistake, gaining 0.2 of a second on us. But 5.4 is behind us. Dangerous. But we've got good control of it. We've got good control. Nicely using the shift down to, uh, to rotate the car. We've gained again a little bit. The leader's just done a 141.35. Oh, I lapped quicker. I got the fastest lap here. Cannot make a gap, uh, a dent in that gap though. Oh no, and that's a mistake. We've run really wide there, really deep into the hairpin. That is poor. Nothing too major though. Argus. Coming up to some back markers now. This should hopefully slow Mourinho down, but not us. And it hasn't slowed him down at all. And it looks like it may slow us down. Brilliant. And I've gone way too deep again. Oh no. And Vargas in front. Oh, why are you breaking there? Jesus, Lord. Oh, no. And I can't obviously afford to hit him. I uh, would not want that. So I've got to back off a little bit. Luckily, he went deep into that corner. and I could go around, make the overtake on him, and start again my attack on Mourinho. He's gained about half a second on me from that. Uh, and from my mistake in the hairpin, 2.4 ahead now. Still in P2 though, which is a fantastic result thus far. Nearly dipping a wheel in the gravel. Okay, Nick. Halfway home. Very consistent good. laps from me. Which is good, and that's obviously what I've been aiming for for a long time. So the fact that I can lap consistently and stay near the front is very positive not the best oh he's made a little mistake little mistake and it's just allowed me to get it's about a second or so on him we think it might be Cardona. oh no and i've run i've understeered wide not wide enough to be a problem though i'm now only a second behind him in front this is good. We are lapping so consistently, like at the same pace. Feels like whoever gets uh, track position will just keep it in this battle. He didn't like that corner at all, and I've, I've gained again on him. 0.6. This is for the lead, remember, of this race. It's lap six of eight. Here we go. He's breaking super early into turn one there. And, uh, and and turn two. Don't run wide here, and we didn't. We've nicely done, and to stay in a good gap behind, it's 0 0.7 now. Oh, well, that's not great. And um, we've. Stayed on his ass and lift right off to get a good bit of acceleration down the back straight. 0.6. These are the two turns coming up that Jim says he's slow into. Let's see. Well, yeah, he's right. I gained a lot of time on him there. 0.4. Oh no, I've run wide. I've dipped a toe in the gravel. Oh, but my final corner is so good. And this has allowed me to get a great slipstream. 0.2 seconds. I've pulled out. Come on. Into turn one. And I've cut him off. This is good news. I've made the overtake into the lead after following him for six laps.
This is lap seven now, and we've overtaken Nick for the lead. Huge moment for us in this race. Now let's try and build a gap like the one he had. Two seconds it was. More than that at one point. He is so close behind now. <clears throat> 0.2, but I'm going to... Uh, I tried to outbreak him, but I've taken the corners badly. Don't rejoin. Okay. okay oh, Nick, no. We just cut the track. I tried to Can't outbreak him, and I outbroke myself. Turn seven. We think it might be Vargas. Still 0 0.6 behind. We've lost the lead, but P2 is still good as well. It's been a good race, and we're having a great fight with uh, Mourinho. I think I can see why he's quicker into turn one. He's just breaking for a shorter amount of time. He's kind of just tapping them while I was actually pressing the brakes. A bit late to uh, notice that now. It's okay. He's got a second gap in front. If he does win, he's a deserving winner. I can't deny that. But I want it. There are some turns that I've been better into, but the answer, clearly not the good enough. It's now 1.1 seconds. Here we go. This is probably our last good chance. Um, I'm not going to make anything silly. I don't think I've got the... I don't have the, the room to go down or anything to make a move. i got to hope he makes a mistake. Oh, no. Ooh. I made the mistake. Oh, my days. Everything's gone everywhere. I made the mistake. Luckily, I held it nicely. Uh, well, nicely. Panicking. But I held it regardless. And I didn't crash. And we round the final corner together. He's 1.5 seconds in front. Bloody congratulations to him. But coming across the line, P2, it's me. Nice one, Nick. Yes. Great drive. Four That's incident points. Not too many. Uh, just a, a couple of stupid incidents off tracks and such. But what a good race. A couple of changes for the lead as well. P2 can be very happy with that. And the results are in. Again, it's a plus 0.02 to our safety rating, which is not brilliant, but it is still an increase. So that's good. And a plus 79 to our I rating, which is good because now we're back above 1100, where not too long ago we were under 1000. So very happy with that. And a, uh, and a podium finish. So a good day overall. Some good races and definitely something to build on. Two great finishes. I think it was a fourth and a second. So very good progress. Only weakness I have is for the brunettes. You already know I'll kill any shit I do next. No kids, so I'm raising the roof. Next year they'll admit they just stands like an ooze.